our new entry, okay? And, and so what you'll see, you have the doors here and then you have another set of doors back here and that's, that's for safety reasons, obviously. So they can get in here, they can talk to the front office people and attendants. So over here, off to the left, you'll see that that's our attendants. Over here is the front office where people will check in first. As you walk down, you can see the vast openness of the hallway, this is C Hall. Like right now, we're standing where the bus ramp used to be, so we would be outside, okay? Eventually this summer, you'll see that little wall on the left and then the blue wall further down, that's all gonna be taken out. Come a little bit forward, you have the new nurse's office in here if you wanna take a step in there and see the new office kids have been able to come in here starting already. Come out this way, you can see here, this is where we've been able to be attached to the A Hall. That used to be outside. There used to be doors right there that you could walk in and go into the ROTC and the A Hall. That's all now open. All right, so we're walking down A Hall here. This is the door to attendance. That's where the new mail room is going to be for the teachers. As you go down here, ROTC is on the right and on the left. But then here's our new stairwell. This is going to take us up to the second floor. All right, so now we're coming to the second floor. And off to the left here is where you'll enter to come and see your APs and your counselors, okay? And then the last thing is just this new area up here. You look down there, that's D Hall, okay? And you look down there, that would be B Hall. And then as you pan back towards the, all of this is going to be out eventually, that, the, the temporary wall, that little room right there. The reason why that's still there, that's an electrical room that powers the old teacher's lounge. So we can't take that out until the summer, but all of this is gonna be open. You'll be able to see it all. Thank you, Oak Ridge. Ka -ka. Footloose is a story about a kid that is a Chicago implant into a really small town and he is used to dancing and in this town it is not allowed, it is against the law. So his whole thing is that he tries to bring dancing back and at the end he finally does and that's where we get the dance that we from. We're really excited to do it. Our, it means a lot to our kids and um, to some of them it means bigger things as some of them are performers and dancers and in that sense, um, not taking their dancing away or their performing away. Four weeks, which is really quick for a big musical like that, but our kids really rocked it and we kind of spent a lot of time doing costumes and lights and sound. Shout out to all of our technicians and everybody that made us look good on stage. The actors can only do so much. You don't look good without the lights or the sound of the costumes or anything like that, so really big shout out to them. We really loved doing this production. We think it was a really big hit in our community. We had um, over 1,500 people come, so that was just really exciting to have people in our, in our space and seeing our department and kind of seeing what we can do, adding a little bit of life in a, in a world that sometimes it may not always be easy or it might not always be um, full of light. It's kind of hard sometimes, so we like to add in that little bit of joy, that little bit of happiness that someone can escape for even just an hour and a half. The Writing Center is basically a place for students to come in and get any help from us that they need. Um, the help can vary from revising a paper to just starting a paper and um, just figuring out what those first steps are to just start their paper. The tutors and tutees here uh, work on improving writing skills and improving how you think about your paper and answer any questions you have writing it. The Writing Center is in Ms. Havens' room on freshman campus Monday through Wednesday and it, on Thursday and Friday it's in the library on senior campus. I first start by asking if they have any walls or problems understanding the paper itself and then if they have any grammatical issues we touch those if they don't have any problems over concepts. Students can bring assignments um, from a variety of courses. They can range from English to history to science if they have a lab report or if they have a DBQ for history um, that they need help just starting or revising and just common English papers. 
Uh, basic tips I have over riding would be um, to first of all come into the riding center, but secondly go ahead and write down your argument and uh, see if any of your questions that you have are related to your topic itself. Um, but if it's something over grammar, what I would do is read it aloud and see if it makes sense. And if not, uh, go to a peer and read it out to them and ask for their help. So the War Eagle Writing Center is a place where students should feel comfortable coming in. The tutors are nice, they're knowledgeable in all writing styles, and um, we really encourage everyone to take time to come in and visit us and get help on their writing. Athletic trainers are in charge of the health care of the athletes here at the school. Uh, we make sure that they are healthy. We uh, will work them back from any injuries, help with any rehabs, and then get them back to play safely. Um, athletic trainers are in several different settings. You can work in a high school or a professional or a college setting. That's kind of your more traditional settings. Uh, but there are a lot of of careers that are breaking out right now. Athletic trainers are working with the military. They're working with performance arts like ballet and Cirque du Soleil. They're working in industry. Um, so they are working for companies like Amazon um, and they are working in, in doctor's offices. Some are even, even assisting in surgeries at this point. The most important thing they learn is gonna be CPR. Uh, but first aid comes close second. Our students learn First aid and CPR, they're certified each year. They learn basic injury recognition and they also learn how to take care of and to rehab basic injuries. I think students like that you can get involved. Um, a lot of them still like sports and so they want to be involved with athletics and involved with our athletes. Um, if you like medical stuff, if you like uh, blood and guts and stuff, then it can be fun there. Um, a lot of our students are looking towards the nursing professor, profession or physical therapy profession or athletic training and so it gives them a good background. When they join athletic training, um, our students need to know that it is hard work, that we are here long days. Uh, we start in the summer before school starts, before football comes up here even, um, and they'll go through a boot camp and then we are out at football practices so it is hot. It is sweaty, it is long days, and then our students don't stop with football. They also have a second sport that they have to cover, so it is a year-round commitment. My experience uh, has been all in high school. I've worked for 23 years in the high school setting, and it's just a lot of fun.